Yo dudes, we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to install Ocarina of Time ROM hacks. Now I already made one, but this one's going to be um, hopefully better and more simplified. But um, you can either go to Hylian Modding to get your ROM hacks. Um, and something to be noted is that if you want to get the 2023 competition, you go up to the top right here and change the 2024 to 2023 you get here um one thing to note is some of these which these don't but like this one says only compatible with project 64 or 3.0 so on your specific rom hack you want to know like what the requirements are uh for example on romhacking.net which i will have everything linked in the description uh if you look here there is a hash number so you can go over this hash thing and you can load your rom which i already did and it has this right here and this is the one that is used most of the time for ocarina of time rom hacks and that is ocarina of time version 1.0 which there are three versions 1.0 1.1 and 1.2 this is 1.0 the original version that's the one that's used for um if you're playing a randomizer or if you're wanting to do ROM hacking, that is like the number one version that is used. I have not had to use a, another version. Um, so the, to get this version, you can, um, this is helpful, uh, this, this code right here. Um, and then you can also, it, it, you know, some places they don't list, and in a lot of the places that if you find the source for it, they don't list what version it is. So. Although, be noted, this is for educational purposes only. I'm not uh, condoning to download this from the internet. I am just putting that out there so that people can know that the version that they are getting is the correct one um, for sure. But you want it in .z64 format. I don't know if I said that or not already, but it's very important. .z64. There's .n64. You don't need that. You need .z64 or it won't work. All right, and then also you want to get your Project 64 um, 3.0.1 is the latest as of now this video. Some ver some ROM hacks only take this. A lot of them can take older versions, and I've been playing around with using older versions with some. Uh, sometimes, you know, you have a ROM hack that won't load right. I do recommend trying a different version in that instance. But yeah, we come over here. Say we want to get, let's see, let's look for mod. Um, let's go Indigo Chapter 2. By the way, it's a really good one, but it's not fully released. Um, go down here. It's just like a beta demo. But it's a pretty long demo. It's, it's, it's worth playing, but you could wait until it's done. Um, so I downloaded that. Uh, Open. Oh, it's a .bps file. For some reason, 7-zip rec recognizes it as a 7-zip file. But um, so that's in our downloads. I'm going to go ahead and go to BPS file patcher. This is the one I use. There's different versions. There's ones that you can download. Um, there, this one also works. But hack 64. You're going to choose the ROM at the top. And this is going to be your Ocarina of Time version 1.0 in .z64 format. Go over to here. This is where I have mine. Open patch. You go to your downloads, Indigo patch, and then it's going to have a save as, and this is going to go to your downloads folder. Um, I guess that's, it goes wherever the patch is possibly. I'm not sure exactly, but go ahead and click patch. Open. So you got it right here. I cut it. I put it in my documents in n64 um rom hacks and all these are zelda rom hacks that's all i really play but i already have this in here so i'm not gonna really worry about doing that and then you're gonna go ahead and go to here download i already have it downloaded and installed so i'll let you guys figure that out it's not too hard and um so yeah so if there's any other requirements just just to put that out there they typically will be here um and the iso information on the other hand most of these don't give you a lot of extra information 
but a lot of these are on romhacking.net. So if you can't find information, you're having problems with one of these ROM hacks, try to find it here and then read here and see if there's any kind of like extra information. Um, but yeah, moving on to the emulator. So you're going to want to open your emulator. Um, and we're going to go to configuration. I'm going to go to general settings. There's hide advanced settings right here. You need to make sure this is unchecked. This is unchecked. You can't see certain settings that you need to change. Um, see, we got always use interpreter core. You want that on. Now, I'm not sure about these other ones. You can um, you can check, double check to make sure yours look like mine. Uh, memory size I have to eight. And I think those are the main things. And then I'm using Glide in 64 and uh, on this. And this is an older version on my latest version. All right, so this is finally done. I'm going to get continue. Uh, all graphic settings, oops. Configuration. It's the same thing. Always use interpreter core. Make sure that the advanced settings are showing and uh you know plugins you can always uh mess with plugins sometimes like certain rom hacks will have some buggy stuff you got to make sure like i guess that you're using the correct plugin setting the you know because so somebody might have developed it with other plugins and in, uh, in mind and like i said a lot of them don't come with descriptions so some of them require troubleshooting there's only been one rom hack and i've played a lot where I just couldn't figure out like why the colors weren't showing up right. And it was very essential because it was a color oriented puzzle. But anyways, I'm, um, I think gra graphics HLE can come in handy on some of them. I want to have that checked. I think that was something I encountered recently. Sorry. Every, every ROM hack is kind of going to be like a per, like per basis, like per instance, like, you know, you might have to do something different with them. And all I can say is, you know, if, um, get used to messing with graphic settings and different stuff with your with your ROM hacks and emulation, because sometimes you're going to have to do a little bit of troubleshooting to figure out what option it is that you have that needs to be changed and all that. But for the most part, this should get you going on ROM hacks. If you got any more questions, put them down below. I'll try to help you. Thank you guys for watching. And um, I guess I'll go ahead and boot this up. Just all right, so yeah, there is Project Indigo. You can tell it's a ROM hack because giant horse, little link. I mean, that's not OG. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much. If this video helped you, please subscribe, like, and comment. And stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of content coming up. News about uh, ROM hacks, playthroughs of ROM hacks. Uh, news about Zelda mods, showcases of Zelda mods, you know, a lot of Zelda related content might be doing some other stuff as well. But thank you guys so much for your time. I hope that I've helped you today and have a great rest of your day.